Welcome to the wild west of Draft League. This is Superior BGC Season 2. You are about to witness the Lansing Leafeons versus the Flying Dutchmans. Enjoy. Then we put these two in the back. We're gonna try something. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Don't know what my strategy is gonna be. Who is. Who are they gonna lead is the question. Crook and Viv. So we're both clear amulet. I have the wrong ability. I forgot to put telepathy on Kronos. That's terrible. Um, I didn't see, so it's actually Moxie. Uh, Crook, Moxie, clear amulet. and switch out into Esper. Yeah, so I totally put the wrong ability. I forgot to change my Dialgo's ability with the hidden ability patch to Telepathy, which kind of throws off my strategy because I have Earthquake. Um, so yep, Rage Powder. Bulk up. Okay, that's only a little terrifying. Focus Sash and Rage Powder. Um, so who's faster between these two? Uh, I don't know who's faster. Uh, Lando is faster. So... I don't want to miss. But I also don't want to reveal that I have. We're just gonna tear a fairy dazzling gleam here. To be honest, I didn't even double check the rules of the league, so. Okay, so protect. We're gonna see how much this Dazzling Gleam does. Crunch, okay, cool. That still does a good a bit of damage. We get a defense drop, which is unfortunate. But we're gonna hit with the Rock Slide, which won't do much. Could've, would've been a good turn to Swords Dance with my Lando here, actually. Nice. So, I think I'm going to do that, actually. I think I'm going to SD. Um, so I don't have to protect. Um, I think I'm going to go for the rock slide. And the calm mind. I need to double check speed tiers. Oh, we do get hit with, hit with earthquake now. So crook is faster than like everything. And gets a moxie boost. 
one we miss it. Oh, that is unfortunate. Super unfortunate. We don't have protect on anything. Um. We're gonna go into Indeedee here. There's Palkia. I just, I feel like I didn't know Crocodile was so dang fast. Oh my gosh, why does Palkia look so massive? How fast is Crocodile? 92. Yeah. Just one point faster. Um... And Palky is pretty dang fast too, so I feel like we just got to get rid of Crook and go for the follow me to try to re redirect any damage. Okay, all right. I could have maybe trick roomed here, but again, I don't think I have. I don't have protect on anybody. Uh, Hydro pump is gonna hurt, but we're very bulky and Deedee. And we Earthquake ourselves, which is kind of unfortunate, I just realized, though. Yeah, so this is tough. Dang, Crocodile's too fast. I need the Tailwind. So I kind of messed this up because I brought the wrong ability, and I just kind of misplayed there as well, too. Crocodile is putting in some work against my team. Okay, Hydro misses, but Earthquake is probably just going to KO me. Uh, and you have Telepathy? Yeah. Oh no, you KO your own... own Pokemon. So Palkia goes down. Dialga goes down. Gets another but Moxie boost. But then we Brick Break. Um, unless... The only other Pokemon that could be in the back is King Gambit. Swalot. Or wait, no, he doesn't have King Gambit, does he? No, no King Gambit. Hypno, okay. Um, I don't know how freaking bulky Hypno is. Um, I got 50 seconds. Landorus T versus a freaking Hypno. Um, earthquake is should do big damage unless you're like max defense. I'm just gonna click EQ. Psychic, ooh, psychic terrain. Okay, we do eat that. Come on, get a high roll, higher roll, let's go, let's go, let's go, Lando. Okay. Okay. So, okay, I gotta rethink the strategy here just a little bit to deal with deal with Crocodile a little bit better. Crocodile was pretty scary. Um, hmm. Clear amulet bulk up Crocodile with... I could burn it. Or I could try to get yeah, I could try to get Tailwind set up. Tailwind plus Rock Slide, maybe. Indeedee didn't really help me. 
I'm gonna do like the same general setup, but this time I'm bringing the Fletchling. Oh, it, it is King Gambit. Palkia, King Gambit, Crook, Pavilion, Swalot, and Hypno. Um, yeah, cause King Gambit. I'm actually gonna go these two. I'm gonna put Lando in the back with Dialga. But I can't spam Earthquake, so I'm actually dropping Dialga this game because it doesn't have the right ability. Um, Palkia might be really scary if with with this setup, but uh, we're gonna try it out because I feel like there's gonna be an adjustment and King Gambit's gonna come out as a lead to try to like uh, take advantage of Defiant and my uh, Intimidate um, Lando. And yeah, sorry about no fake face cam in this video. My office is currently a mess being uh, torn apart because I'm moving here in the next few weeks. So there's like nothing cool to look, to look at. Yeah, okay, sweet. Um, I could taunt, I could brave bird. Tailwind is not super necessary right this second. <sighs> I'll lose my... I don't wanna... I'm gonna try to Will-O-Wisp King Gambit. And then I am just gonna... Facade. Pavilion. Okay. So switches out. Game two, we got King Gambit lead. King Viv. Okay, also has Tailwind. We burn the Palkia, but that's nothing. We can stagger our Tailwinds. That does a lot of damage still. I'm, I'm still gonna be slower than Palkia, even with Tailwind. So. But my Tailwind will last one turn longer, so I'm gonna try to get it up now. And I'm gonna protect this turn. So I kind of just want to see what is going to happen this next turn. Spatial Rend went into you. Pollen Puff. So trying to KO you. Don't think Ursa can take a spatial rend very, very well. But we're gonna try to we're gonna try to live one. <laughs> okay, Viv goes for protect. Um that's a smart decision. Probably just another spatial rend, but probably don't take. Oh, we do no freaking way. Let's go, Ursa Ring. Oh, no way. No freaking way. I cannot believe Ursa Ring just tanked that. What a legend. What a legend. <laughs> Is 
Team Gambit gonna come back out? Who is coming out? Crook. Crocodile. Okay, so... How many turns did they... Oh, this is their last turn of Talon. I have two left. So this is easily... You save Pavilion for another Tailwind? They might. They might switch for another Tailwind. I feel like I can't risk it, so I'm just gonna try to get rid of you, and I'm gonna protect. Yeah. Okay. That was obvious. I should have Willow Wisp. I should have predicted that. That was a really, really um, obvious play. But now I have one more turn of Tailwind. They could have Sucker Punch. Um, I'm fine if my Fletch goes down this turn. Either way, if I get hit with any bit of damage, we um, eject ourselves out with Eject Button. That was a crit. Crit Brave Bird. Let's see. Maybe... You know, just a crunch. Um, it's also silly. I might go down to my own burn damage this turn if I'm not careful. No. Okay. We live the burn ship. Um, King Gambit could have Sucker Punch. King Gambit is the one I need to try to burn, and then I am going to Facade Crocodile. But I could just get Sucker Punched here. But I'm, I think I'm happy if I get the burn off or I get the Facade off. If I get either one off with this turn, I'm kind of happy. Yeah, so Sucker Punch. Does does take me out. We do get the willow off though. So I am happy about that. Final move on Crook. I don't know yet. <sighs> Bulk up is very scary. Very, very scary. My Tailwind has petered out. How fast is Fletch? Fletch is pretty slow. Um, but we are going to try it. We're going to try it out. Um... I'm gonna try to Tailwind. Um, do I Terra here or no? I feel like I don't Terra because I feel like it's obvious that I might Terra. Okay, so we get to see a Terra from their end. What is it? Crook is Water Terra, okay. So we do just drop there to that. Um, they get a Moxie boost. We don't get another Tailwind off. Crocodile is getting very, very scary. Iron Head. But we don't take much damage because of the burn. This turn, I think I... T okay, let me think about this. Um... Yep, so plus one King Gambit now. Crook is at plus two. Um, I think I Terra Ground EQ. And try to dodge a Sucker Punch by Calm Minding, I guess. So I'm kind of in a top pickle here. Okay. So 
punch into you. That's good. Chip damage. That's... Um, but I think now, I don't think Crook can KO both. And I have spread damage here. So get rid of King Gambit. Crook is still sitting there. Really, really scary. <laughs> really scary. <laughs> but we do get Calm Mind up. Shiny Pavilion, which is cool. Um, we're gonna EQ again, and we are gonna Dazzling Gleam. I'm just locking it in. Um, oh, we know it has Protect. Bulk Up, Crunch, EQ, Protect. But it does take us out. This is scary, because I don't know... I don't know if this is gonna do it. I don't think. Oh, I don't think this does it. I. Oh, the pollen puff. Good play. Good play. Really good play. Okay, so this is gonna. This is gonna mean I don't win, because I'm just gonna get KO'd by a crunch. Okay. So that was that was a smart play. Playing around the crook is very very, very smart. Uh, yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Esper Wing is technically the stronger move, but we died to crunch anyway, so okay. We lose goes to game three. Not what I wanted to have happen. I wanted to win it in win it in two. So now I have to try to win a game three. But I know the full crocodile move set. Uh, So now I have to come up with a game plan. I think I'm gonna go Trick Room. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do Trick Room this time. I think I'm gonna go Indeedy. So strong. I think we're gonna try it. We're gonna try to get Trick Room up. That game we brought Fletch, uh, Fletch, Ursa, Lando, Braviary. So now we're going into game three. I brought Indeed, Indeedy. Ursa Ring. Uh. I do not know if we live a crunch. I could tear a fairy here to not die to a crunch. <sighs> I got to I got to do this real quick. DD crocodile 252 Jolly. Uh, crunch. We should live ah uh, we could we could Terra on turn one is kinda, kinda risking it for the biscuit, it, but I kinda have to because it's game three and I'm not, um, I can't guarantee that I'll live a crunch because I don't have any defense investment. I just have special defense investment into Indeedy. So Viv protects. Calm down, Ursa Ring protects. Up. Okay, so the Terra was aggressive, <laughs> but now 
but now. We got some very powerful attacks going on. Crook can protect. Um, so I think I'm gonna double down into... Viv. Because I feel like you got to try to stall out the trick room. Maybe you switch. I don't know. But I'm fine with Dazzling Gleam. Gleaming. Gleaming the Dazzles. Should have gone for it. <laughs> I should have gone for it. They didn't protect or switch. So I kinda kinda misplayed. So facade. So we're gonna get rid of Viv here. I don't know if I dropped anything. EQ, I should, I should tank, yeah, I tank that, I tank it, okay, we tank that, oh, okay, this is a interesting turn here, this is where things get interesting, um, because King Gambit is maybe slower. King Gambit is 50 speed. And how much? I don't know how fast or slow I am. I have some speed, unfortunately. So this is slow King Gambit. Protects. We br oh my god, that turn could not have gone any better. Oh, <laughs> yes! Let's go! Oh my gosh, I predicted that turn right. Let's go! Let's go! Yes, okay, that turn went as perfectly as it could have. Now Palkia is here. Okay, so we got two turns of trick room left. Um, I think I dazzling gleam and facade. Crook tries to go for the double, doesn't get it facade is enough to pick up let's go ursa ring putting in the work let's go oh yes and terra fairy dazzling gleam does like 45 percent 40 percent reverse the trick room okay okay um but this next turn uh, i just follow me and facade and i think we're golden I think we do the darn thing here. Hydro Pump unfortunately misses, but I think it wouldn't have done more than just gotten a KO. I don't think the crit mattered. 
GG. Wow. All right, really good game to my opponent. Go check out their channel, uh, their information linked in the description down below of this video. Um, so yeah, make sure to go check them out and give their uh, give some support. Um, say GG uh, on their video as well. Leave a like and comment there as well as here. But yeah, I'm happy that we were able to pull off the dub here week one. I'm really trying to do well this league. Um, this is a paid league where all the coaches paid a league fee. And that means cool things like there is a monetary prize at the end and a trophy for this season of draft league. Um, so I am very excited for this season. Happy to start off week one with a win. It was a close one for sure. Uh, game two, uh, I really thought he had kind of figured me out, but the trick room strategy worked, um, saving that for game three. So I'm definitely happy with uh, my hybrid trick room tailwind team. Overall, just very happy with the results. Um, very lucky that I was able to pull it off, even though one of my main strategies, the telepathy Dialga with Earthquake um, Crook, uh, did not work because I've had the wrong ability. So, yeah, just overall very happy with uh, this uh, this week and uh, our performance, and I'm looking forward to doing well, hopefully, in the rest of the regular season. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure, again, please leave a like, uh, leave a comment down below, and uh, make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you guys for next week's Draft League Battle. See ya!